Hi guys, Jim here again. This time, um, this is more of an instructional video with regards to the Sony um, Remote Play app um, on a non-Sony Android device. As you can see, I've got a Note 10.1 um, tablet here, which has got the Remote Play app installed on it. Now, this is more of an instructional video on how to install the app, how to um, set it all up and how to do the workaround for the um, DualShock 4 controller. So first of all, to actually get the app on, you need to have gone, in, you need to have gone into your settings, your security, and installing installation apps from other sources than the Play Store needs to be ticked. This is a non-Play Store app. So, Best way you you're gonna do it is so if you go to YouTube, check out my other video. PS4 remote play app on a non Android device. We'll pause that. Don't want to hear my ugly noise. And click on the link. the link that takes you to the web page that I obtained it from and then here you've got the green download and install remote play app port version 0.6.1.apk obviously I've already downloaded it and installed it go into there follow the instructions download it all um, and install the app So you've then got the Remote Play app installed. So what you do is you go into the Remote Play. As you can see I've got a PlayStation 4 on in the background. You go into Next. So now it's connected as me onto my PlayStation 4. As you can see, I can't use my DualShock 4 controller, but I can use that. Right, so we'll come out of Remote Play. And that shows the remote play working, but it's set up for me, so I, um, my main account, so I can't use the controller. In order to just be able to use it so that you can use the, the directions on there, you go to the top corner, you've got settings. Initially, you have to sign in. So you sign in as your uh, with your PSN account. Um, when you press sign in, it will take you to the Sony PlayStation Network account. You sign in with your primary account, um, and then you go, and then you can go to change PS4 to um, to connect to. If you click on that, you'll start searching for a PS4. Go down to skip, and ask for a number. If we then go to our PS4 and go up to settings and go down to remote play connections and then go to add device it then gives you a number, you type that number in um, and it links to your div your device and lets you log in as yourself. Back to the home page. 
So you'd enter the the, num the number that you've just been given into there and it will go through. Obviously I'd, at the moment I want to keep it as it was. Back to the main menu. Click next. And that's me moving it around with the remote play app. Not the not this, not this. But the remote play app. So that's how you set it up. Um, download the app and get it put onto your, get it put onto your system and set it up for remote play on your PS4. Right, so this is the workaround so that you can use your PlayStation 4 controller with the Remote Play app on an on Android device. So, at the moment we're logged in to my primary PlayStation account. What you need to have set up is two profiles. So, if we go into settings, and users if you've only got the one set up then just create an, another user just a dummy one doesn't have to be anybody um, anything spectacular just a dummy um, user that you can then log into using your remote play app so I've already done that I've got two users set up if we go to excuse me a second if we go to switch users there you can see I've got two set up. The bomb is me, the skull is my second user. So what you do to use the plate the PS4 controller on the remote play app, as I showed you just sign in you through the settings, but sign in as your second account, not the one you want to you be playing with on the remote play app but sign in with your second account right so once you've been into settings and signed out as your primary account because if you sign in as your primary account you can only use the controls that are on the um, apps on the app screen if you sign out and then sign back in as your second account on your PS4 then change PS4 to connect then click on change PS4 to connect to it'll search for your PS4 again and log you in as that second as that second account so now if we go if we see here here's my PS4 controller I'm logged in on my PS4 as my primary account you can probably just about see the little bomb there So if we click next, you see my PS4 controller's on. It comes up, it's my primary account, and it says I've logged in as my second account. Here's my PS4 controller. So I can now basically use this as a second screen. What is being shown on here is what's been shown on the TV. So if I click, there you go, I can start up games. I can then turn off my TV. And I've still got it running here. I've got my PlayStation at the moment still connected up on a wireless router. I do think the best way to have it set up is with a wired connection. There you go. All using the There's no no buttons on the screen. To try anything with anyway there you go and then we can start a match 
and we're all good to go. Hopefully it's explanatory. Obviously, if you need anything, any questions you might have, put a comment in the in the box. Leave a like, leave a subscribe. Lots more videos, more to come. As you can see, it runs really well. We'll get try and get to actual match. There's no telling what Eric Rowan is capable of here tonight. Yeah, that's what makes him so we go. Cole. Right, so that was an instructional video on how to install the Remote Play app. It was also instructions on how to do the workaround for your PS4 controller. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe, leave any comments if you need any further instructions or if you think it wasn't quite covering everything that you needed to do. I'll give as much help as I can. So until next time, this is Jimby, signing off.